After loosening of COVID guidelines, America continues to adjust to a new normal. Six Flags is the latest organization to relax its mask requirement for people who are fully vaccinated. Alex Fees shows us how it's going. In the shadow of the Screaming Eagle, which still gets disinfected on a regular basis, by the way, a sign outside the front gates proclaims that masks are no longer required at Six Flags. It's effective today. Um, our guests are no longer required to wear a mask if they're fully vaccinated. We're not doing our temp checks anymore, and our guests no longer have to make a reservation to come out to the park. While other COVID mitigation measures remain in place throughout the park, this is the first weekend when masks are not required. It's going well. People are happy to be rid of their mask. Um, we do have a few guests that are still wearing them, and that's that's absolutely fine. Set up in the front that they're not requiring them anymore, so and you're comfortable being without one. Yep. Yeah, I'm a nurse normally, so I wear them all the time when I'm at work. I'm a healthcare worker. I'm a nurse, so I'm used to wearing the mask for 12 hours, so I feel safer. I'm fully vaccinated. Uh, I seem to be fine. I was fine before. I just got fully vaccinated just in case. Although, you know, some people are taking the vaccine and some are not, uh, we are still surrounding each other. And so better safe than sorry. Another one of the changes Six Flags has made now is they are no longer requiring an empty row in between passengers on the rides. You know, not being able to load all of the seats, naturally people have to wait a little bit longer. And you know what that means? shorter lines. So now that we can load everything and all of our seats, it, it does help us expedite much faster. And with that, Six Flags and its rides are back at 100% capacity. Alex Fees, five on your side. And Alex says the spokesperson at Six Flags is still encouraging people who are not vaccinated to continue wearing masks. Also, they have moved to more tables and more chairs back to their restaurants and theater shows, which were moved outside are slowly returning to their indoor venues.